It's time to sort through the tech deals of Black Friday. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. You can start planning your Black Friday shopping strategy now. The shopping holiday is just about a week away on November 27th, and many retailers have posted what will be on sale. Among Amazon's big discounts, you're going to find Kindles and Fire TVs, along with different brands of HD TVs. You can't have Black Friday without some cheap TVs, right? You can also get $50 off an Xbox One and PlayStation 4 Uncharted bundle. We at CNET compiled the list of all the best gadget sales at Amazon and other big retailers like Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Kohl's, and Sam's Club. Not that Black Friday really matters anymore. Online sales are continuous throughout the season. You don't need to fight the crowds with a belly full of turkey to get the best deal on a TV. Black Friday is moving online. The day turned into a weekend, which turned into a month of sales. The National Retail Federation found that about half of holiday shoppers did not buy anything on Thanksgiving weekend last year. It's Black Friday fatigue. But going back to Amazon, the site just added a very important security protection tool that you need to use. Amazon accounts can now have two-step authentication. The next time you log in, go to your account settings and turn this on. That way, if someone tries to log in from a new computer, it's going to require a password and a special number code texted to your phone. It's essentially a double password to make it much harder for someone to break into your account. Amazon is late to the party on this one. The feature is on many sites already like Facebook and Google, but hey, better late than never. In other news, Google has not given up yet on its social network. If you visit Google+, you can check out a redesign that puts more of a focus around communities and collections. It's Google's way of being more like Reddit and Pinterest. A community is where you can have conversations around any topic you could think of with a group of people. And you can follow a collection created by one person on one topic. It could be anything. Even Zombie Cats is a collection for some reason. But there's a more entertaining way to get your zombie fix. The game Plants vs. Zombies 2 has sprouted an update in app stores. It brings new dinosaurs and prehistoric plants. The update is called Jurassic Marsh Part 1. The popular game from 2013 gets updates to keep things fresh, but it won't be until early 2016 when EA is going to release a whole new Plants vs. Zombies game. That's it for this Tech News Update, and there's more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.